Politically, Kansas City and St. Louis appear to be more like the Hatfields and McCoys, not much in common. That gap could grow wider after the general election. In our Democracy 2012 coverage, Matt Reeb looks at Proposition A, which could end one of the longest ties between the two largest cities in our state. Once a month in both Kansas City and St. Louis, a Board of Police Commissioners meets to discuss the daily operations and policies of the largest city police forces in the state. The two departments are the only in the nation to be run at the state level. Both boards are appointed by the governor. St. Louis Mayor Francis Slay is here promoting the passage of Proposition A, which would give the city of St. Louis local control of the police force. He says it would reduce redundancies and save money. This department's run separately. They have their own personnel department and purchasing department and budget department and accounting and legal. So how would this affect Kansas City? This will be an opportunity to bring up the discussion in. The discussion, local control of the Kansas City Police Department. The way Prop A is written, only St. Louis is affected. Kansas City would have to petition for control. Mayor Sly James supports St. Louis's effort. But the mayor's one vote out of five. Over on the council side, he's one vote out of you know, 12. Pulaski points out the city has input in the way the police department is run. Mayor James sits on the board. Pulaski adds the board has already consolidated departments with the city, saving as much money as they can. Even though this vote only affects the city of St. Louis, in the long run, it could affect Kansas City as well. Matt Reeb, 41 Action News. Now, the state legislature could not resolve the issue last session, which forced the proposition on the statewide ballot.